All right, here I have a video where I'm going to show you a couple of card games that um, Joseph could play. And he could play, he liked to play against somebody where he could try to keep points. So he could play against Caden or one of you two. Um, ideally, you would have the cards set up where they were face down. I just couldn't do it on the computer. But a couple of games we played is, is that each of us would take out two cards. <clears throat> And then we would add our total together. So um, bear with me because it's going to look kind of um, not going to look very good. But um, if you had a face card, those would be worth 10. So he would have like 10 plus 9. So he would have a total of 19. Ooh, I told you I wasn't going to look very good. <laughs> and then I would have 3 plus 10, which would be a total of 13. So then if we were playing for who got the most, um, Joseph would get a point there. Um, we could also uh, do the same thing where you could subtract. So, um, of course, up here we'd have, let me get my pointer back here. We'd have 10 minus 9, so it would be a total of 1, or 10 minus 3, which would be a total of 7. So then I would win that point. Um, so you could do it several ways like that. Now, another thing that we've done too, we have these cards over here, get some new cards, is we've been working a lot on um, place value. So we would each get two cards again and try to arrange them where the number would be the biggest. So let me tell you what I mean by that. I'm going to show you mine first because it'll be easier. So, oops, no, I don't want to do that yet. So I would arrange it actually this way so it would be 63. Now, when you have a 10 in here, that kind of throws a little wrench in there, but what we did was we'd say that that would be 104. Uh, and then what we would do is practice writing expanded form. So what expanded form is, is if you have 63, that would be the same as 60 plus 3. Okay. And with 104, It would be the same as a hundred plus oops four. So those were a couple of games we would play, and then we could also switch it to like Joseph would get the points here, but you could also switch the game up a little bit where you could say you would try to make the smallest um, number, um, which that makes it a little bit difficult when you have the tens there. Um, so. So those are a couple of games that y'all could play. And I'll be kind of looking this week to see if I can find some good, like, little internet games he could play. Because um, we're just working a lot on getting that addition and subtraction down and doing some place value stuff. So if y'all play these games a couple of times a day, you know, that'll keep up his skills. And that's what we're trying to do this week is just kind of do some review activities just things to kind of maintain the skills that we worked on throughout the year. Um, and Caden uh, and Joseph, miss you guys, and hopefully we'll get to see you soon.